Daisy Jones and the Six were the biggest band of the 1970s until they all of a sudden fell apart on stage during a sold-out stadium performance and vanished for 20 years before being persuaded to tell their side of the story by a documentary filmmaker. And in Daisy Jones and the Six Episode 1, we first encounter the main characters, who were taken from the best-selling 2019 novel by Taylor Jenkins Reid, by showrunners Scott Neustadter and Michael H. Weber, who also wrote the screenplay for 500 Days of Summer. In the first three episodes of the limited series, we follow the formation of the band, learning about its members' identities, backgrounds, and baggage, before they achieved success as a unit. The plot of the show develops like a documentary as the characters reflect on their past, recalling happy memories and highlighting instances when things went awry. However, the underlying question of why did they split up has persisted. Here is a breakdown of all the events in the three episodes and potential answers. Major spoilers ahead if you have not watched the first three episodes yet. The story opens with the discovery that one of the era's most well-known bands abruptly broke up after playing the biggest show of their careers. Until everyone in the band, including Daisy Jones, settles down for an interview 20 years later, no one is aware of what transpired between them. Beginning with a young Daisy who lacks the love and support of her family, we see her attending performance after concert to find solace in music. Young Billy Dunn and his sibling Graham form the Dunn Brothers, a band in Pittsburgh, with the help of three other friends. They leave everything behind to become the biggest brand in music after experiencing some modest success and being motivated by the desire to prove themselves. They relocate to California with Camila, Billy's partner. They finally have the opportunity to impress Teddy Price after spending months being trapped, performing in a single bar, and nearly running out of money. The name of the band changes from the Dunn Brothers to the Six as a result of Karen Serco joining and the band receiving the chance they had been waiting for. Before they begin their tour and record an album, Camila informs Billy that she is expecting. When they get married, everything seems to be going well, but Billy finds it hard to deal with everything because things change so rapidly. His newfound fame and the possibility of fatherhood drive him closer to alcoholism, an issue he had been avoiding for some time. In the meantime, Daisy encounters like-minded individuals who assist her in paving a route for herself. She chooses to let go of her fear of the stage and not being good enough for others after her boyfriend uses her lyrics as inspiration for one of his own songs. She also makes pals with Simone, another singer who is moving in a different direction. Teddy finally notices Daisy, but they take some time to come up with a strategy for her. In Daisy Jones and the Six, there are many things happening, but the mystery is maintained by the question that is asked right away. What caused the band to break? Additionally, that was only when matters began to improve. The conflict that will drive the remainder of the story is set up in the first three episodes. Although there is still much to learn about what actually occurred that evening at the band's final performance in Chicago, the show has already provided us with enough clues to show how things may have gone from bad to worse. It is obvious that Billy and Daisy are a factor in the relationship's dissolution. Since they are both main singers and songwriters, there is enough room for conflict. Teddy brings Daisy on board to give the ensemble a fresh edge. Billy's previous misdeeds have already caused a lot of harm. The six were very close to achieving everything they had been working towards, but Billy's refusal to accept that he had an issue and be honest with himself destroyed everything in a single action. The arrival of his daughter served as the wake-up call for him. He sought treatment, became clean, and resolved to make things better for his family, but the record companies have already suffered significant losses as a result of him, so this is insufficient. Teddy wanted to do everything he could to support Billy and his band, but he also understood that he needed to show the label a different side of the band in order to persuade them to give Billy another opportunity. Daisy stepped in at this point. She had been working hard on her own to compose songs that people would enjoy. Both she and the six required assistance, so Teddy made the decision to group them together so they could assist one another. Billy receives a distinct message from Teddy that Daisy's presence is the only thing that can revive the six. Everyone can also tell that he has no intention of allowing another singer-songwriter to join the ensemble, though. He believes Daisy was brought in to set things right for them, making Billy the issue. He has already been having trouble finding his position in his family and band again. He feels threatened by Daisy's presence and is uneasy about his situation as a result. There is now a replacement for him. As Daisy begins to discover her place in the band, tensions between the two will increase. She is currently the stranger, the intrusion. 
however, it is obvious that she will take on the role of the band's visage, given that her name came up first. Billy will doubtless have some qualms about this as well. The conflict between the two leaders will cause issues for the band, but it's not likely to be what ultimately destroys them. Billy doesn't like Daisy, but he understands that the ensemble can't function without her. They require her in order to repair the harm he caused. Given that Fleetwood Mac was a vague inspiration for Daisy Jones and the Six, it stands to reason that the story's central conflict is a complicated romance. Even though Billy and Daisy are currently at odds, their argument will only open the door for the forbidden relationship. Billy is already married, and his affection for Daisy will hinder the band's success. There is enough brewing to indicate the impending fallout, though it is still unclear how Daisy's life will alter once she experiences stardom.